how to fix skin tone in Photoshop Elements. Is this something that you've been asking yourself how to do? So you can go from a picture like this to a picture like that. It's actually easy to learn. George here, and I'll show you a real fast and easy way to come in and correct skin tone quickly and easily with Photoshop Elements. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is I'm just going to remove all these things up here. Let's just select all that, hit the delete key, and get us back to the original photo, which is right here. If you wanna work along with this video, I'll put a link for this image in the description so you can go ahead and download that. And the first thing we need to do here is to make a duplicate of this background. Go up here to where it says background, right click on that and duplicate layer, choose okay. Normally I do this just as a safety, but in this instance, we also need it to protect this layer here because if we don't do this, then the adjustment will be placed right on this image and I don't want that. So you need to have this background copy for this particular step. Now we'll be doing this in guided edit, which is right up here in the middle. Click on this. And in here, there is a correct skin tone tool right there. Now there is one over here in advanced or expert, depending upon which version you have of Photoshop Elements. And this is over here and adjust color and adjust color for skin tone right here. But this isn't the easiest way to do this. I prefer using the guided edit and I'll show you why in just a moment. Let's just open this up. Here we go. And the reason I like doing this here in guided edit is for one thing only. Tools are the same, so don't worry about that. But it's over here where it says after only, click on this and click on before and after horizontal. And here we go. This is why I like the guided edit. This is our before image and we'll make our corrections over here on the after image. We can then compare this as we go to make sure we're getting a good correction. Right here it says skin tone selection. Click on that and come in here and find a good neutral skin tone. Luckily, this model doesn't have a whole lot of makeup on in here. Maybe just a little bit reddish in here, but not too bad. I want kind of a medium value. So I'm gonna choose right over here someplace. There we go. And you're gonna be getting an automatic adjustment just like that. We can then push that adjustment to make it even better. Already that's not bad. Come down here, you can add more of a tan look, which is into your yellow browns or more of a blush look, which is into your reds. I like putting a little bit of both in most cases, a little bit more tan like that and a bit more blush in here, just adds in more color. And then down here, you can adjust the overall color range of the image. Notice we're going from a cool over here to a warm on that side. So I'll just warm it up a little bit by pulling this in. Ignore the background in there and just pay attention to the flesh tones. And I think that's looking pretty good. It's not perfect yet, but it's awfully darn close. Okay, once you've made your adjustments in here, come down and click on the next button. Here's a before and after, we're looking good. And you go over here where it says in advanced. If we're in an earlier version of Photoshop Elements, this is going to be saying in expert. Click on that. Here we go. And here's our adjusted image on a new layer. That's why I wanted to make a background copy. If you do that, you then get a new layer. If you don't make your background copy, it then puts the adjustments on this layer. And I don't want that. Okay, so we have our layer up here. The contrast is a little bit low in this. I want to adjust the contrast. Let's go up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels right there. Use previous layer to create clipping mask. Check that, choose okay. That limits the adjustments to that one image layer. And notice how we don't have anything on the blacks or the whites. So let's just pull the blacks in just a little bit. If you go too far, it blocks up like that. So pull it in just a little bit. Just want to richen up the dark parts of the image like that. The same thing on the lights. And we're basically increasing the contrast in the image. If you want to lighten the image up, do that right down here and push this to the left a little bit lighter. Not much, just a little bit like that. That's looking pretty good. If you want to, you can come in here and add a bit more color onto this. Up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and hue saturation. Again, check that checkbox, choose okay. And give it just a little bit more on the saturation. It's not gonna take much. Just a little bit like that. And I think that's looking pretty good. Again, these are personal preferences. You may want to have a different setting. That's fine. Choose a setting that looks good to your eye. Now, one thing that we lost in here is that background, the coolness of the background. We warmed up the background. I don't want that. I want to have the background staying cool and just the foreground subject being warm. And we can fix that very easily. Come down to this image layer here. This is our guided edit base layer. Go up to select. Right now I'm in Photoshop Elements 2025. And in this version and several recent versions before this, we have a select subject right here. Click on that and Photoshop Elements goes in and selects just the subject. 
There we go. I'm going to click on Refine Edge. And because this is overlay in red, I like that. That's just fine. I'll leave all these settings alone. You can see here is the brush for this. And I just want to brush along just the edges of the hair right there where the selection is coming in. This is mostly just to remove any hard edge on that. Along all those edges in here and up around here. Now since we're going back onto the same picture, we're not going to be losing any of those fine hairs. That's fine. They're perfectly okay. I want to get anything that's inside like this. So just bring your brush in like that. And again, hit the whole outline. And that would just guarantee that we don't have any weird coloration problems happening in there. And that softens up that edge for us. Okay, here's our nice softened edge. A little bit more, I think, in here. I just want that pinkish effect coming in there so I know that we're getting that blocked out. Okay, let's now come down and let's output this to a layer mask right here. That puts a layer mask on that layer. And we're now seeing the background, cooler background there, in behind our image. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, very fast and very easy. And to get that before and after side-by-side -side view, you do this in the guided edit. If you want to learn a lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, I have a complete training course for this. It's a video course, and I cover everything, all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, the whole program. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. Now, if you found this video useful, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.